Baruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezra Hashem together in Daflamad Ches Amar Aleph, three lines before the white lines get wide. The Gemara quotes our Mishnah, which says that if a person partakes in a fruit that comes from the ground, then you make a bracha bari pri ha'adomo, with the exception of pass of bread. Says our Gemara, Ton Rabbonon, bringing a b'raiso. Mahu oimer, what is the nusach a person should say when eating bread? Ha moitzi lechem min ho'oretz. Rabbi Nechemi oimer, moitzi lechem min ho'oretz. It's a machloikis between the Tanakam, Rabbi Nechemi, whether you say ha moitzi with the hay or moitzi without the hay. Omar Rava, be moitzi, when you say the word moitzi, now we're talking about the noun, obviously the verb of moitzi is he presently takes out, right? He takes out, somebody who takes something out is moitzi. Whereas in the past it would be hoitzi, he took out. Or in the future, yoitzi, he will take out. Here we're talking about Hagarish Baruch Hu is the one who takes out. He constantly he always takes out. But it's a reference to the bread that we're partaking right now. So everybody agrees, bemoitzi. That's referring to Akashbo who takes out from the ground as a reference to the bread that he took out now that is in front of us. We have the same word, Hashem took out, again referring to the past. This was stated by Bila many years after Akashbo who took Klayisho from Mitzrayim. So the word Moitzi implies at least the noun form that Akashbo who is the Moitzi. It be refer- a reference to that he took out. Kipligi, but the machokis is biha moitzi with the hay. Rabbonin savre ha moitzi da apik mashma. That the word ha moitzi with the hay also is a reference to the past. Dechsiva it says ha moitzi lecho mayim mitzur ha chalomish. Akishbochu says Kla Yisrael, when they're now in Eretz Yisrael, look back in the past when you're in the midbar. Akishbochu, he took you out mayim, water from the flint stone. Rabbi Nechemia saw the hamotzi the mapik mashma. Rabbi Nechemia argues that hamotzi has the implication of the future, not in the past. Shneimar says hamotzi eschem mitach asiv lois mitzrayim. Hakish Baruch Hu says, "I will take you." He's foretelling that I will take you out from the burdens of Egypt. Vrabonon hahu hochi ka'amar lehu. This is what Gish Baruch was saying to him. Hochi ka'amar lehu kusha brichu l'Yisrael kad mafikna lehu avidna lehu milsa. When I will take you out, I will do for you matters. Ki heichi diya diosu da'ana hu da'afkis so that you will know that in the past I took you out of Mitzrayim. The Chesiv that says in the beginning that Pasuk, V'yedatem, you shall know, Ki Ani Hashem Elokeichem HaMoitzi, I am the one who took you out, referring to the past. Mishtabchin lei Rabbonon le Rabbi Zeir. The Gemara says the Rabbonon praised in front of Rabbi Zeir as Bar Zovid. Achei de Rabbi Shimon Bar Rav Zovid. Bar Zvid. That they praised in front of Rabbi Zeira, the son of Rav Zvid, who was the brother of Rabbi Shimon Bar Zvid. And they praised him as follows, the Odom Godol Hu, Uboki Bebrochois Hu. He's a great man, he's an Odom Godol. He's also somebody who is very knowledgeable in Hilchos Brochois. Omar Lahem, so... Rav Zeira said to them, When he comes to you, bring him to me. There was a time when he visited and they brought him to him. They brought Rav Zvid, the son of Rav Zvid to Rav Zeira. And they took out bread to eat. Posach the Omar Moitzi. The son of Rav Zvid, he made the bracha Moitzi, Lechemin Horitz. Omar Zehu Shaoimrim, I love the Adam Godolhu, Boki Berochoisu. Rav Zeira said, This is the one they said is an Adam Godol, who's a Boki in Hilchos Brochos. 
and he comes along and makes a bracha of moitzi lechem in art on bread. Bishlomi Omar ha moitzi. If he would have said ha moitzi, then ashma inan taimo vashminan dehilchas ekerabonan. Then we would hear the reason that he would explain that previous verse that was in dispute that it's going on the past, and also we would hear definitively the halachas like the rabbonon. But now they said, Moitzi, without the hey, what is he coming to teach us? We know that the halacha is like the Rabban over Reb Nechemia. The reason why he said Moitzi is because he wanted to remove himself from the Machloikis. And therefore he said the word Moitzi, which everybody agrees to, is a good bracha referring to the past. The Hilchas, however, the Halacha is Hamoitzi Lechem in Aritz. The Kaimelon Kirabonon, the Amre, the Afik Mashma. The Halacha is that we do say Hamoitzi Lechem Min Haoritz. And indeed, that's referring to the past that the bread that we're about to partake in, this was taken out by the one who's Moitzi Lechem in Aritz, Akrish Borchu, who takes out bread from the ground. Says the Gemara, quoting our Mishnah. When it comes to things that grow from the ground, like lettuce and cabbage, the bracha is bore pri adomo. Says the Gemara, Kitoni Yerokois Dumyo de Pas. Our Mishnah teaches Yerokos that is similar to Pas to bread. Ma Pas Shenishtane Aideha Ur, just like bread, which is transformed through a hot fire. Af Yerokos Nami Nishtanu Aidea or so too Yerokos, which is transformed with a fire. In other words, the same way that bread doesn't lose a status, so too vegetables will also not lose their status when you cook them. Says the Gemar Amar Ravonai Mishmei Daabaye. Zoysa Meres, Shloko is Mevarchin Alem Bore Priya Adomo. That means to say, therefore, that if a person cooks vegetables, the bracha on those vegetables will remain Bore Priha Adomo. Says the Gemara, Dorash Rav Chizdo, Mishum Rabbeinu. Rav Chizdo expounded in the name of Rabbeinu. Who's Rabbeinu? Umanu Rav. This is referring to Rav. When a person eats cooked vegetables, he makes a bracha of bore pri adomo. The sages that came down from Bavel to Eretz Yisrael, Umanu Ula, Mishmed Rabbi Yochanan, and that's referring to Ula, who came down from Bavel to Eretz Yisrael in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. Omar, He said, Shlokois, Mevarchin Alem Shahakon Niebit Voroi. He said, You would make the bracha of Shahakol on vegetables that were cooked. Vani Oimer, however, he says, I say, this is Rav Chizah speaking, that there's no machloikis. Koshit Chiloso Boy Priyad Domo, Shlokos Shahakon Niebit Voroi. If the fruit, the vegetable, is such that in the beginning it will get the bracha of bari priyad doma, and then by cooking it, you would make it worse, thereby it will lose the status of bari priyad doma, and he'll have the bracha, the designation of shahakol niyabit voroi. Vekoshet chilosoi shahakol niyabit voroi, and that which begins with the bracha shahakol niyabit voroi when you would eat it raw, for example, like potatoes. Shlokoi, when you would cook it, bore pri adomo. Then the bracha would be on the cooked potatoes, bore pri adomo. Says the Gemara, Bishloma, kol shetchi loser shahakon yebit voroi, shlokoi bore pri adomo, mishkachas lo. It's fine, it's good according to that, which we're saying that if you eat it raw, it would begin with shahakon yebit voro, and then turn out when you cook it to be bore pri adomo. And the Gemara gives examples, aside from the potatoes that I mentioned. Mishkachas lo v'krovo v'silko v'kra. We're talking about cabbage, beets, and gourds. All of these things that if you would eat it raw, it would be shahakol. 
but when you would cook, it would become better and thereby get the designation of Borei Priya Adomo. Ela koshet chilos obe priya domo, shalokoi shahakol hechi mishkachas lo. But that which is raw begins with bari priya domo. If you were to cook it, it would become worse and lose the bracha of bari priya domo to be a shahakol. What is that case? What is that vegetable that we're talking about? Om rab nachem bar yitzch mishkachas lo betumi vikarti. We're talking about a case if it was garlic. Or if it was leeks, those type of things that although they are they are good when they are raw, they can be eaten and the brachot you priya adama. However, if you cook them, they lose their status and they become worse. And therefore, the brachot would be shahakol niyabidvoro. Dorash Rav Nachman mishum Rabbeinu. Rav Nachman expounded in the name Rabbeinu. Who's Rabbeinu over here? Umano Shmuel. This is referring to Shmuel. When a person cooks vegetables, the bracha is bari pri adama, just like if they were raw. And our friends, the, the sages, our peers that would come down from Eretz Yisrael, umano ula, and this is ula mishmed Rabbi Yochanan, omar shlokos mevarchin alem shakon nebidvoroi. He said that shlokos vegetables that are cooked would get the status of Shehakal Niyabidvoro. By the way, over here, Rav Nachman says he calls Ula his peer, as opposed to previously the Gemara said that Rav Chizda called Ula Raboseinu, Rabbeinu. And that's because over here, Rav Nachman is a, is, a, is a greater personality than Rav Chizda, and therefore he considered to be Ula, to be a comrade of his, and not one of his Rabbeim. So anyway, said the Gemara, Vani, however, Rav Nachman says, This is a machloikis, whether it's shlokas is ha'adama or it's shahakal. The Tanya, for it says in the Bryce the following, Yoitz in berikik, hashor ibn mevushal, shelo namuach, diver rabbi meir. Here we're talking about, on Lela Seder, the Torah says, Ba'erev toichlu matzos, you have a mitzvah to eat matzos on Lel HaSeder. So it says over here, you can be yoitze your mitzvah of matzah, b'achilas matzah on Lel HaSeder, b'rekik, with a wafer that is absorbed, that is soaked, as well as that which is cooked, so long as it hasn't dissolved. According to Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Yoisi Oimer, yoitzim b'rekik hasharui, avaloi b'mevushal, afopisha loi nimuach. Says Rav Yoisi, he argues and he says, you can be Yoitse, your mitzvah of matzah, with those wafers that were soaked. However, those that were cooked, you cannot be Yoitse, even if they did not dissolve. So what do we see from this? We see that Rav Meir, he holds that Shlokos doesn't lose its original status. Because over here, when it comes to Rikik, when it comes to wafers, so we say, even though they have been cooked, nonetheless, you can still that were cooked in eating them as matzo. So we see that they remain with the same status even after they've been cooked. So too when it comes to vegetables. Vegetables do not lose their status when they're cooked and they'll also remain bori priya adomo, according to Rabbi Meir. Whereas Rabbi Yoisi says if they were cooked, just like the matzo that was cooked cannot be used for the mitzvah chilas matzo, so too the vegetables lose their status of Bari Priya Adama, and then get a lower status of Shehakol Niyabidvaro if they are cooked. Says the Gemara Velohi, but that's not so. The Kuli Alma Shlokois Mevarchin Aleim Bari Priya Adama. When it comes to Shlokois, when it comes to vegetables that are cooked, then the Brocha is Bari Priya Adama. The Adkan, but over here, why is there Machlokis? When it comes to Matzois. Loi Ka'oma Rabbi Yosi Hasam Ella Mishum Deboin and Tam Matzo Veleko. That's because when it comes to achilas matzah, you have to have a tam of matzah. And if you cook them, then you lose that tam. Aval hocha, afilu Rabbi Yoisi moed, but over here by shlokos, by the vegetable that is cooked, even Rabbi Yoisi would agree that it will remain with the status of bari pri ha'adomo. Says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Chia bar Abba, Om Rabbi Yoichanon, shlokos mevarchin alem bari pri ha'adomo. You make a bracha on cooked vegetables 
to be Bori Priyadomo. Rabbi Miyam ben Yafis Omar Rabbi Yochanan, he said name Rabbi Yochanan differently. Shlokois mevarchin aleim shakon yebit voroi. Now keep in mind, Rabbi Binyam ben Yefes, who says that shlokois, cooked vegetables, are shahakol, that's what we heard that Ula said up above, named Rabbi Yochanan as well. Says the Gemara, Om Rav Nachin bar Yitzchok, Kava Ula, the Shabeshta de Kerebi Binyam ben Yefes. Rabbi Nachin bar Yitzchok says that Ula, he fixed the mistake of Rabbi Yom ben Yafis, meaning to say that he took that which Rabbi Yom ben Yafis said, and then Rabbi Yochanan, and he took that, and he was Koveya, he fixed that, he, he, he took that, and he, he, he caused that to be then remembered in his mind, and that was a mistake. That's not true. Rabbi Yochanan never said such a thing, that Shlokos would be the Brach of Shahakal. Tehi bought Rabbi Zeir. Rabbi Zeir was in wonderment. V'chimayin yon ben Rabbi Yom ben Yafes Eitzer Rabbi Chia bar Abba. What would be the comparison that Rabbi Yom ben Yafes can argue on that Rabbi Chia bar Abba in the name of Rabbi Yochanan? In other words, Rabbi Yochanan, who said a statement, certainly Rabbi Chia bar Abba would have a more precise type of mesara what Rabbi Yochanan really said, as follows: Rabbi Chia bar Abba diek. First of all, Rabbi Yechia Bar Abba was precise in his learning from the teachings of Rabbi Yechanan, his Rebbe. Rabbi Yechanan Yafes lo daik and Rabbi Yechanan Yafes was not precise. Vaod and further, Rabbi Yechia Bar Abba called Tlosim Yoimin Mahader Talmudei Kamed Rabbi Yechanan Rabbi. Every thirty days, so. The Talmud Reb Chia Bar Abba would review his learning on the 31st day in front of his Rebbe, Rabbi Yochanan, to make sure that what he learned is accurate and he understood it correctly. Whereas Rabbi Yo- Binyam Ben Yafis, Loi Mahader, he never reviewed in this fashion in front of his Rebbe, Rabbi Yochanan. Now, like Mar says, in addition to these reasons, also, Shlokos, according to Rabbi Yochanan, is the brach of Bore Priya Adoma and not Shahakal. Says the Gemara, Vaod Bar Mindain U Bar Mindain, aside from this and aside from that which we just mentioned, the Ahut Hormuso, the Shalki Le Sheva Zimnin Bikidero, the Ochri Le Bikinuach Suuda. There's a certain vegetable that is very, very, very bitter, and unless you cook it seven times, only then it becomes edible. And they used to eat it, it becomes sweetened, and they used to eat it as a dessert. Asu v'shalul Rabbi Yochanan. They came before Rabbi Yochanan and asked him, "V'omar lohu," and they, he said to them, "Mevarchin ilave bore priyadama." You make a bracha on this bore priyadama, even though it was cooked many times. So you see that clearly, Rabbi Yochanan holds that shlokos get the, the bracha, the designation bore priyadama. V'od and further, on Rabbi Chia bar Abba, ani ra'isis Rabbi Yochanan. I have an eyewitness. That I saw Rabbi Yochanan Shaochel Zayis Maliach Uberch Alav Tchila V'Soif. I saw Rabbi Yochanan himself eat a salted olive, and that has the same type of status as a as a shlokos, and therefore I saw that he made a bracha f- before and a bracha afterwards. So I amers bishlom a shlokos bimulsayu kaimi b'tchila mevarich alav bari priya eats uvesoy mevarich alav baracha achas main sholosh. It's very good only if you say that Shlokos remains in its status, whereby he made a bracha Rishoyna of Bari Priha 8 on the Aleph, and he brought in a bracha Achroyna of Al Ha'etz. El Iamri Shlokos Labi Mosayu Kaimi. But if you want to say that Shlokos loses their status, then Bishloma Bitchilim Evarich Alav Shakol Niabit Voroi, then I understand that the first bracha, because it went down from its status to Shahakol, that he would make the first bracha, Elo, Levesoyf, Maim, Mevarech. But why would he make a bracha afterwards? In other words, the Gemara is suggesting that there's an opinion, that's the assumption over here, that he would not make a bracha in a foshois on basar and beitzim, on eggs and on meat. Otherwise, you don't make a bracha, bracha in a foshois, Rabbois, Vechesunon, as a bracha achroina. 
The Gemara says, no, Dilma bari nefoshos are boys v'chesonan al kol mashe boro. Maybe indeed Rabbi Yechon is like this opinion that does hold you make bari nefoshos on all things, including what he's eating over here, the olive.